Hey, this is Candice from Voice Mod. We've just released a brand new extension for Twitch called Voice Mod Bits that allows your viewers to change your voice in real time. And today, I'll be giving you a quick look at how to set it up. So if you're a streamer looking to add a little bit of fun to your content and engage more with your viewers, just keep watching. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your Voice Mod application. So on the left hand side of the screen, you should see a plugins option. Click on that and then select Voice Mod Bits. Then enable the program and you should get access now to your Voice Mod secret key. So just go ahead and copy that key. And now we're going to head over to Twitch and set everything up. Once you're on Twitch, head over to your creator dashboard. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see an option that says extensions. So click on that. And then in the search bar, just look up Voice Mod Bits. It should be the first option that pops up. So now you can install it. And once that's done, we're going to configure it. Now that we're in the configuration tab, you can use the secret key that you got from your voice mod app. So just paste that in here and click to connect. The status should say connected, but if it doesn't or if it fails, just click the refresh button and it should work. Now that we're done with the setup, it's time to add your voices. So head back to your voice mod application and go to the plugins section, voice mod bits, and now click on the voices tab. This is where you'll be setting up all of the voices that your viewers will use during your Twitch streams. So if you go into add voice, you can choose any voice from the voice mod library. So I'm gonna go with the baby voice. Here, you can set a default price, which ranges from free to 1000 bits. So let's just go with 100. And there's also a section to allow you to set it for subscribers only. So if you wanna add a little bit of a loyalty reward to your subs, you can select certain voices that will only be available to them. So let's save that. And now it's added to your library. You can add a whole range of voices to the section and customize them as you see fit. That would be customizing your bits price, the amount of time that your voice can be changed, so it'll be between 5, 10, and 15 seconds, and the buffer time, which is the amount of time that you will get a break from the voice changer when you have uh, voice change requests stacked. So say you have the baby voice on, then you get a 5 second break, and then your next voice will activate. Once you're happy with your selection of voices, they will all appear in the panel that goes into your Twitch panel section. So this will be viewable to all of your viewers to redeem voices while you stream. Obviously, now we need to go and make sure that your extension is active and selected in a panel so that viewers can see it and use it. To activate voice mod bits on your Twitch, head back to your creator dashboard, go to the extension section and navigate to voice mod bits. Select the drop down that says activate and say add as new panel or you can set it as an existing panel if you want. I'm just gonna add it as a new panel and while that activates, it should now appear on your Twitch channel for viewers to use. So now it says voice mod bits is now active on slot extension panel two. So you can obviously go and customize it and move it around and decide where you'd like it to display on your panel section. As you can see, voice mod bits is now visible in my panel section for viewers to use. So now they can just hover over the voice of their choice, click to redeem it, and it will appear in my stream. It's as simple as that. I hope that you found this setup video useful and we can't wait to see how creators will be using this new extension with their viewers. Leave a little thumbs up if you found this useful and comment below telling us which voices you'll be using first with your community. Have fun and we'll see you in the next video.